And contrary to what a lot of students think, all these differentiation techniques that we have just discussed, they are no longer going to be the key reasons how we are going to be scoring in the exam. Let me show you by looking at this next question in our worksheet. Can you look at your worksheet? Let's take a look at question number 7. In this question number 7 from EJC, we have the equation y is equal to e to the power of sine inverse x. And we are supposed to prove that equation. Um, do you guys have any suggestion? How do you think we can go about proving what the question wants us to show? Um, maybe let's ask Nizam. Nizam, do you have any suggestion? Ah, okay. <laughs> Celia, you have already given us a suggestion. Celia here says that um, let's just differentiate this equation. I think that is possible. If we were to differentiate this equation, so I'm going to be getting dy dx. 